Every conflict in history has had swaying public perception and controlling information as one of its most powerful weapons. Social media, though, has completely changed the game in the public's access to knowledge. Joining us now for more on the CEO and co-founder of Free Space Social, John Willis, and Mammoth Nation spokesman, Drew Berquist. All right, guys, welcome to the show. John, go to you first on this. You started a social media company, obviously, because you felt that big tech was censoring the flow of information, okay? So you're kind of the, the Facebook uh, alternative, whereas Trump's Truth Social is the Twitter alternative. Talk about how important it is and how, how censorship really actually devalues the Americans' knowledge of any, any type of conflict. Well, when you censor any type of information, you create a whole new source of misinformation. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it here in the States, and now we're seeing it abroad. And it's, it's very dangerous when you try to censor anything out there uh, that could yeah. be information that uh, could be true, um, even, even stuff that could be false, but even right. trying to censor that, that's, that's difficult too, because the general public needs to be able to discern for themselves on what's true and what's not true. And we've seen that here in the States where stuff yeah. that has been censored ended up being true. Yeah. And well, that, that's... it ended up causing a whole domino effect of destruction, both economically uh, with during COVID um, and even stuff that's going on with the war right now. Yeah. So and you just can't censor information because all it does is create a new type of control. Well, the, the main thing, too, is you would assume, though, if they censor things that are mistruths or not true or what, what we call as normal people as lies, then you assume everything else on the platform is actually, in fact, true as itself. But, Drew, yeah. I mean, social media isn't the only place that's being censored right now. I mean, conservatives. I mean, we've seen, like, Mike Flynn. He lost his credit cards. The truckers got go kicked off GoFundMe. I mean, you've created with Mammoth Nation a potentially... I, I dare I say, uh, paralleled economy for this stuff, but it's still, you're still relying on things like Salesforce and other liberal leaning uh, platforms. How do you get around that in the, in the age of, of product? Yeah, well, it's tough. I mean, I think the, the first thing you can do with all of this censorship and everything that you're talking about here, you know, both on social media and then as it, as it pertains to where you spend your dollar is, is mm -hmm. make more um, strategic decisions about where you do spend your dollar. And that's that's why we did that at Mammoth Nation. But it is difficult. You know, it's very difficult to to work around some of the systems that are in place. So it really just becomes a kind of a, a strategic and systematic approach to, OK, one by one, we're going to continue to do this. We're seeing it on social media. We're seeing with with what we're doing at, at Mammoth Nation, where you can buy American, you can buy from conservative uh, companies. But you've also got you know, some other things that you've got to work through as you get there. So I think strategically, right. as, 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 the, as the right is doing, um, we are little by little getting past some of those hiccups. But they're certainly there. They're certainly right. there. It's not a perfect solution. So, John, I, there's been a big hoopla, obviously, about Truth Social. It's come out. There's like millions of people on waiting list. Um, and, and like, I'll be honest, I'm on Truth. I'm on your platform, Free Space, and I, I post regularly on both. But recently, and this is a little bit concerning to me, and I'm not, I'm not dogging on truth. I like the platform. I think it's very good so far. Uh, but they did censor something the other day. Do we have that full screen? Yeah. Okay. So um, they, they censored something that Lori Lightfoot said. It was a little obscene. But, uh, you know, you, someone put up on Free Space a side-by-side a -side of posting it on Free Space, not censored. And on truth, censored. What do you think the reasoning for the censorship was? You know, I, I really don't know what they're doing um, unless they're trying to test a feature out or something to see yeah. if it actually works. You know, if they have some sort of AI code built into their master code uh, yeah. that's looking for keywords or phrases and that will automatically censor it so they don't kick, get kicked out of the app stores. See, with True Social, mm -hmm. they haven't built it to be autonomous from the app stores. Yeah. And um, they're, they're just going through the growing pains right now of having a, a new platform. See, people think launching a social media platform is really easy. I'm going to tell you right now, it's freaking hard. Yeah. And <laughs> it, it costs a lot of money. And, and, and one thing you have to understand, to have a Twitter platform or to have a Facebook platform, the amount of servers that are needed. You know, Facebook has servers that's the size of Plano, Texas, for crying out loud, the size of their data centers. Wow. And so truth they're just getting ready to scale. That's why you have a waiting list. That's yeah. why you're having these these little things that are popping up here and there. They're yeah. still in their beta testing right now. 
And yeah. Carl, you and I both know this very well since we're both on True Social. Yeah. Uh, even though I'm the CEO of another social media platform, I'm on True Social as well. Yeah. And and we're seeing the growing pains that they're going through right yeah. now. But I think I think Truth will be just fine. Yeah. This issue though, I I really don't know what's going on there. It's it's very odd. Hope, you wouldn't hope, see that on on Free Space. Hopefully they work it out, gentlemen. Uh, appreciate you both joining me, Drew. I'll get back to you next time. John Willis, Drew Burquist, Thank and we'll you. see you soon. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.